Two males armed with semi-automatic handguns, dressed in all dark clothing and face masks, exited a gray Lexus GX 460 and began firing at multiple people standing on the 2200 block of Burke Street. One victim was transported to the hospital with gunshot wounds to both legs. The offenders returned to vehicle and fled before police arrived. Also, police are investigating after three people are shot in the city's Strawberry Mansion section. Two of the victims are teenagers. Police tell us a 17-year-old boy was struck in the right thigh and the right shoulder. A 15-year-old boy was shot in the leg. They're both in stable condition. Officers also tell us a 25-year-old man was shot in the back and he is currently critical. Hey, yo, cat. Somebody get some Dutchess, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. We gonna get you I'll let the fuck out in this fucking um, 21st Street. Damn, he's a big old bodyguard. Look at that motherfucking piece he got all around his head. He's, he's, he's afraid to let that shit around. <laughs> that thing will make it fall. Okay. Let's go, Y'all gonna make him hit the floor? He's making a well. He's making a well. He's turning, watch out. Clear the street! Wait, go back up. is fighting for his life and a teenager is injured after police say someone shot them Wednesday night in North Philadelphia. Officers from the Philadelphia Police Department were called to the 1800 block of Woodstock Street for reports of a shooting. Police found an 18-year-old shot in the foot and another man shot in the head. Both were taken by police to Temple University Hospital. No arrests were immediately reported. Police say one weapon was recovered at the scene of the shooting. Breaking this morning, a man is dead after being shot multiple times in North Philadelphia. Police say the 27-year-old victim was walking on the 20 under block of West Montgomery Avenue around midnight when he was approached by two men. Moments later, they fired at least 15 rounds at him, hitting him in the chest and the torso. Witnesses say they saw the suspects go through the victim's pockets after that shooting. Police are considering robbery as motive. The victim was rushed to Temple University Hospital, where he was pronounced dead.
perspectives there. Well, meantime, here are some of the top local stories we're also following for you right now. Police are searching for a suspect in a deadly North Philadelphia shooting. A 16 year old was shot and killed near 23rd and Montgomery Avenue just before 9 o'clock last night. Investigators also say surveillance video shows an SUV speeding away from that scene. That SUV was later found nearby, but police have not been able to track down any suspects just yet. First and Norris Street, North Philadelphia, home to one of Philadelphia's most dangerous street gangs in the 1960s and early 70s. During this era, North Philadelphia was submerged in a violent street war involving roughly 80 separate gangs spread throughout the area. The gangs started off as a method to protect their communities from outside threats, but eventually turned into a back and forth war which bled into the schools and public areas, making it unsafe for the common civilians of the area to walk around. In 1974, these 80 plus gangs came together to sign a peace treaty that was honored until the crack epidemic of the 80s hit. A majority of these ex gang members converged to Islam and are still active in their communities till this day. The following is an article from CBS News in 2014 about a reunion that they had had here to honor the pledge they took 40 years prior. Scores of former gang leaders came together Wednesday in North Philadelphia to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Imani Pledge, the ceasefire promise that ended the years of gang wars that plagued the city during the 1960s and 70s. It was a blessing being at that meeting, says Wesley Wilson Bay. We had to bring about some kind of unity because we were killing off our race. Bay was part of the gang at 21st and Norris Streets in North Philadelphia when he signed the Imani Pledge on January 1, 1974 a promise he's kept for 40 years. A traditional name with Arabic and Swahili origins, Imani means belief or faith. Imani is a very popular name throughout the Muslim world, especially in Eastern Africa. Imani comes from the word Imam. An Imam is a person who leads fellow Muslims in worship and prayer. The only thing you really have is your word, says Bey. But we had to stop. Bey has left his gang banging ways behind him. Today, a sharp dresser, he works as a barber and tailor. He's a father, husband, and minister. I really turned my life around, says Bey. Queen Mother Falaka Fata, founder of the House of Umoja, organized the New Year's Day, No Gang War in 74 conference. David Fata, who has been married to Falaka for more than 40 years, wrote the pledge that roughly 80 gangs signed on to by the end of 1974. The House of Umoja teamed up with Philadelphia Ceasefire for the 40th reunion. We don't have gangs as they did in the 1970s. We have what they call cliques, says Marla Davis Bellamy of Philadelphia Ceasefire. She says a lot has changed in four decades, but the 1974 victory still resonates today. Those men turned their lives around and hopefully they can work with our young people to help them do the same, she says. To help them better understand that violence is not the way to resolve their differences with one another. We want to do this now for the kids and show them what we learned. That it was foolishness, says Otis Franklin, who was shot while he was a gang member at just 15. I lost my foot. I lost a limb to gangbanging. He says I went through it. Now I am older, smarter, wiser, and I want to help. Congressman Chaka Fata, who is the son of Falaka and David Fata, spoke to the crowd, telling them the past can inspire future generations. Here's a success where our community made a decision that something was going to change, and it changed, he says. The event included a performance by Sonia Sanchez as well as award presentations to Warriors of Peace. Please support the author of this article, Miss Cherry Gregg, and follow her on Twitter at Cherry Gregg.
New at 11, a gunman opened fire, taking aim at two Philadelphia police officers. Luckily, no one was injured in the gunfire. It all unfolded on the 2200 block of North Van Pelt Street in North Philadelphia. Authorities say the police were chasing a man wanted for firearms violations when the suspect allegedly fired two shots toward them. Police did not discharge a weapon, but they're still looking for the suspect. And there is more, Dan. Meanwhile, homicide detectives are investigating a deadly double shooting tonight in North Philadelphia. It happened on the 2100 block of North Van Pelt at 6 o'clock. Police say a 21-year-old man was killed when he was shot in the neck. A 22-year-old man survived a gunshot wound to the head but is in critical condition right now at Temple Hospital.